punch in the gut to people who rely on public transportation. TARC, Louisville's busing company, announcing today that it will cut more routes. Thanks for being here at 10, everybody. I'm Gilbert Corsi. And I'm Fallon Glick. WDRV's Katrina Nickel got answers on why certain routes were cut and what riders can expect in the future. Starting at the end of January, TARC will be cutting three of its bus routes, and that includes one that averages around 400 boardings a day, serving the PRP and Shively area into downtown. I don't know what I'm going to do if we lose this. The route TARC rider Deborah Harrell is referring to is Route 63. She is one of the 399 average daily riders boarding this bus. When asked why cut this route, TARC's executive director, Ozzy Gibson, says these riders have other options, unlike other routes it looked at. There's alternative routes that you can get on. Um, yes, it'll be a little inconvenient, but when you talk about um, the savings behind that and what we can do with the, the personnel shift around. TARC will also cut routes 22, serving part of West Louisville, and 52, which runs around Louisville hospitals. Gibson says cutting routes and reducing others is a result of the looming $30 million financial cliff. Gibson says the deficit is less about mismanagement and spreading itself too thin for too many years. I don't believe anybody has mismanaged. Um, we've just tried to be so much to this community and stretch every resource we have. Gibson says the other issue is too many routes and not enough drivers. He says right now around 50% of its routes are delayed. We want to show Louisville that we can um, spend the money wisely and be very, very reliable. TARC is in the process of redesigning its routes, meaning more change is expected. It's weighing two options. One, prioritize existing routes, but increase wait times. Or two, prioritize areas where ridership is high, like in the West End, but limit service in other parts of town. The final proposal is expected this summer. I just can't get around. Well, we apologize. We would love to be everywhere. Tark says it has looked into raising rates to ride the bus, but says even doing that would not generate enough revenue to cover the $30 million financial cliff it faces. In Louisville with photojournalist Joshua Horton, Katrina Nickel, WDRB News.